I reveal the fastest way to do an exceptional literature review with AI without plagiarism and completely ethically. So the first thing that you need is the right keywords and the right search string in order to find the relevant text that you're then going to read and we're going to plug AI in to help you 10x your reading. So how can you find the right keywords and the right search strings with AI? Previously, this used to be a manual process, but now you can use AI tools such as AvidNode to give you the search string straight away. So you want to go to avidnote.com. The link is also in the description. There's a discount code if you want to go for the paid version of AvidNote. For the purposes of just getting the keywords, you'll be fine with the free version. So we want to go to AI templates and then we want to go to keywords for literature search. And then what you need to do is just describe your research in as much detail as you can. So let's say this is what your research is about. Obviously, the more you put in here, the better the keywords and the search string will be. Then you want to scroll down here. You don't really need 1,500 words for this. We probably just need 500 or even less. And then we're going to click on generate text. And what I really like about it is that AvidNote not only generates the right keywords for you to start searching databases, but it also actually generates the search string or what it's called here, the search queries using operators such as and, or, and so on, which can be really helpful to speed up you finding the right search string. Now, will this work 100% for all studies? Obviously not, but it's an amazing start. Something that might have taken you an hour or two hours previously manually can now take five seconds and you can take this and then spend the next 10 minutes adapting it slightly, playing around with databases to see what results you get and you've got the most relevant text that you need. Now, once you've got the search strings and you're getting the literature, what you might also want to have initially is just a broad overview of what's actually happening in the field and what's like, you know, a one paragraph summary of the findings on this particular topic. This can be really helpful, especially at the beginning to get a hang of what it is that you're actually looking at here. So in order to do that, you can use two different softwares. And again, the link to them are in the description. The first of them is consensus. So you, you can then type in a research question in here, or, you know, I'll just use some of the predefined questions in here. And consensus is going to give you, well, the consensus or lack of it of previous research on this specific topic. And the great thing about it is that straight away, if you put it in a yes or no question, you can see whether the researchers agree or disagree on it. And then you can see a short summary here and a more detailed bullet point summary in here with references to specific papers, which is great because it really speeds up the process for you. And you can actually validate whether what consensus gave you here is 100% correct or not because then you can click on that paper it will scroll down here and then you can go in here open that paper read the abstract and then start reading the paper in more detail if you click here to go to the full text now another great tool to do something similar and get a summary of the literature is SciSpace where again when you open it you can put in any question that you've got related to your literature review, and then it will spit out a summary of the research, either based on five papers, or you can also do the top 10 papers. And just like consensus, what I really like about it is that first you've got a short summary here, and then you've got bullet points divided into topics with specific references to different papers. Now, is this like the 100% most definite summary of the literature? Of course it isn't, but it really helps you to speed up the whole process because this would have taken you days to get a summary like this. Now you can do this in just seconds and have a general understanding of what's happening in the field. So then you can start diving in more specifically, validating this information, developing it and moving forward with your literature review. So in order to do that, I think science space is a great tool because it allows you to understand multiple texts in very very quickly so when i typed in that question apart from the summary what i get here is bullet point summaries of the different sections of the papers and you can actually change which sections you want SciSpace to analyze and you could for example if you wanted to you could add let's say uh, conclusions or methods that were used and that column is going to be added in here and you'll see a bullet point 
summary. What's great as well is that you can actually upload your own text and get the same summary of actual PDFs. Because for some of these texts, SciSpace might not actually have access to the PDF. So the bullet points that it gives you might not always be 100% accurate. But if you were to upload your own text in here and then select all of them, what you can also see, you will see summaries of those PDFs in here and because this is an actual PDF that you uploaded you can be pretty sure that the the bullet point summaries that SciSpace is giving you here are quite accurate. So now that you've got the keywords, you understand overall what's happening in the field, you've got bullet point summaries of multiple texts, so you're starting to understand overall what's happening in different previous studies, you'll probably want to dive in and read some of those papers in more details. One great tool for this is SciSpace because you can upload text here and then if you open a text, you can start chatting with that PDF and you've got suggested prompts in here so you don't actually have to type stuff in and this will solve most of the most common questions that people have like what were the methods used in this paper obviously you can also ask any question that you want yourself in here and you can also switch between like normal quality and higher quality of the model okay so SciSpace will generate a summary in this case of the methods used in this paper and the cool thing is then that you can ask follow-up questions about these answers and you can also save them to your notebook which then allows you to start building your literature review now at this stage you know you you've been reading the literature you've got the big picture view you're starting to understand individual papers you've even dived deeper into specific papers you started taking some notes so what you need to do next is structure your literature review but this could be a process that could take days if not weeks sometimes researchers get stuck on it because of the wealth of information that you have and you're staring at a blank screen sometimes for hours without being able to move forward with the structure of your literature review so a tool that can really solve that is Jenny and I've tried all the different AI tools and asked them to prepare structures of different parts of research papers and PhD theses and what I've found is that Jenny is by far the one that generates the most detailed and most accurate structure. The link to Jenny is in the description and there's also a discount code that you can use to get I think 20% off should you decide to go for a paid plan with Jenny. So I already have one document open here, but you would go to new document and then you would want to go to creative headings so that Jenny actually generates headings for you. You want a really good prompt. The more detail you make it about, you know, how long the literature review should be. Is it a literature review chapter for your thesis or part of a research paper? Exactly what is the topic? If you already got ideas on like what are some of the subtopics and themes that you might want to include, put that all here. The more detail you make, the better the outline is going to be. And then you click on start writing and for whatever reason, it's not working for me right now. But that's nothing to worry about because we can just start with a blank document and what we're going to open Jenny chat and put the prompt here and then we're going to click send. Well, looks like Jenny doesn't want to cooperate. Throw away that comment about it being the best software for generating the structure for your literature review. Instead, what we're going to do is use SciSpace, which we've already used for the literature review. We're going to click on the AI writer module, go to start writing, click on start writing with AI, and then put in the prompt in here. Okay. And then you're going to get a pretty detailed structure in here of your literature review. So something again that would have taken you sometimes even days to come up with, you can get that in seconds. Now, once you've got the structure, the next step is obviously to start writing. But this is also when a lot of us get stuck because we've read so much that maybe you feel overwhelmed by the whole literature or you kind of, you're writing and you feel like, yeah, I, I did read it somewhere. I, can, I kind of, I know where it is, but I just can't picture it in my mind and I can't find it in all these post-it notes that are lying around my desk. So what we can do here is also ask AI to brainstorm ideas and help us get unstuck. For example, one of the first sections in here is about the evolution and origins of native speakerism. So what we can do is ask AI simply, how did native speakerism originate? And then we're going to click enter and let SciSpace AI do its magic and generate an answer for us. And you could do the same with every additional concept when you're trying to develop 
your research ideas. A second great tool that you can use for that, that I think is even better than SciSpace is PaperPal, primarily because it's a word plugin, so you can use it right here as I'm showing you on the screen. You don't have to go anywhere. But secondly, because it also gives you answers based on the literature. So when we type in that same question into PaperPal, what we're actually going to get in the answer is references to sources that we can then go and read to check if that answer actually makes any sense. On the other hand, with the answer that SciSpace gave us, we didn't have that ability, which I think is a shame because SciSpace is already a tool for reviewing the literature. So I don't fully understand why they don't connect their AI answers with the literature that we've been reading in the same tool. So if you follow this process, you're going to have an exceptional literature review for your research paper or for your PhD. But now that you have one, you might want to know how to write your next research paper in as little as 48 hours. So this next video reveals five simple hacks that will allow you to finish your next paper for a Q1 journal in as little as a weekend. So go and watch this video next.